Hi everyone, welcome back to Better Creating. In this video, I want to look at the best ways to manage your daily task list and how to plan your week effectively using either a paper planner like this one or a digital system like my Notion task manager back there. Maybe you should be combining both. Let me know where you stand on this in the comments, but either way, we're gonna break down the fundamentals you should be applying in both and the time management tips and tricks each of them can teach us. Are you really using the best system for you when it comes to planning your week and getting things done. If you're new here, my name's Simon and on this channel I'm helping you simplify productivity and creative life. I'm feeling a bit under the weather today, if you can hear it, uh, but we're gonna crack on nonetheless. Number one, we need to look at capturing tasks as they come up and then organizing those tasks systematically into checklist lists checklist lists based on urgency and importance. Number two, you're gonna to need to be planning and blocking out your time in a calendar. And number three, you're gonna to need to be setting goals and monitoring your habits to make sure you are intentionally focusing your energy and effort. Now tip number one is you wanna create a view which covers all three of these areas in one simplified view. Now for me, a good planner, a base for a good planner is an undated weekly planner, which views the hours vertically and the days vertically. Now this gives you the flexibility to use each week and day view as you need for either events, task lists, or just for example, to skip pages when you don't wanna use them if you're on holiday or something. First off, create a task inbox uh, by attaching a blank sheet of paper to your planner to capture new tasks as you think of them. Free your mind, my friend. Free it from holding ideas and help it have ideas. Sorry. This keeps things super simple and it allows you to update your planner in one go at the end or the beginning of a day. You can draw a line as well through the center of that piece of paper if you wanted to, to also use this to store tasks for the week that don't have a specific due date to get done. I call it my as and when list. Group your tasks. This might be by breaking down a bigger task list into smaller steps, uh, suggesting that it could be called a project as per David Allen's Getting Things Done. You could also group work in blocks of time, but we'll talk more about that in the calendar section. List tasks in your calendar as checkboxes and even indent tasks grouped together under main tasks to organize these further. Blocking them together in time periods is a good way to do this over the hourly view. Another advantage of vertical weekly uh, views um, in paper planners is that they can kind of be used as a Kanban board so you could move tasks along if you don't complete them into later days. I do it like this. Now, a good way to start the process of organizing your life into a planner if you're new to it is to use Stephen Covey's method of sorting tasks in a time management matrix. Maybe at the start of each week, you would use this matrix to list everything that you're thinking of for that week and categorize it as important and urgent, urgent but not important, important but not urgent, and finally, just not urgent or important. Now, doing this means that you can prioritize what you focus on and how early you focus on it over a week, or even if just things are like you shouldn't be dealing with them. Urgent and important things uh, become the one thing, get them done on a Monday or really early. Urgent but not important could be ticked off quickly around these. And something like important but not urgent can be scheduled effectively for a good time slot later in the week when it feels perfect to do it. So going digital, this can all get a lot easier potentially. So this is a homepage with a task manager in Notion. What you are able to do digitally is filter and sort tasks automatically by projects, time and date. It can easily be used to sort information so you only look at the important stuff on a specific day now, and it can be fed back to you automatically. In my Notion task management system, I sort by project, due date and then the priority of each day. This means I always have a clear up-to-date to-do list in front of me to look at. The advantage of a digital system like this is you can automate tasks to appear right in front of you cleanly over a much longer period of time. The issue I would suggest with a digital system is that it can end up with a lot of setting up, programming, and it can just make things more time consuming and complicated to set up rather than actually be doing things. But hey, you could always just make all of that go away before it begins and download my Notion system I've created for you. Smooth, Simon. I mean, God, that's just... Yeah, there's links in the description. But seriously, you might enjoy them and there's some free ones there too. OK, 
Okay, let's talk about dates, calendars, and scheduling events. One of the best way to be more productive with your time is time blocking. So doing this on paper, use arrows to cross out blocks of time in your daily view. You can divide your day up into sections of time first and then add tasks to them. So create a priority view. Try defining the one thing you need to do each day and put that square at the top of your day, followed by urgent or priority tasks. Drawing boxes around events that are fixed and scheduled is a great way to define them as different to your task list in your planner. Another good trick is to use stickers to define key events in the week that are important or fixed. I got this legend journal from Amazon which happens to come with a bunch of them. If you don't manage to get something done, you can cross it through and move it easily to later uh, in the week. But this is where digital could take the win. The advantage of digital systems is that you can use a board or a calendar view to quickly sort tasks in the order that they need to be done and adjust that as you work. And let's face it, if you're like me, you rarely get everything done um, that you plan to do in a day. Not everything is about Notion on this channel and I like to use Google Calendar to time block out my week. In fact, you can create regular recurring calendar items in something like Google Calendar because uh, then they're always blocked out so you don't have to keep inputting them each week. That is an advantage of a digital system. If you'd like to see more about how to combine Google Calendar with a Notion task manager, check out this video after this one for a full overview of how I do digital weekly planning in Notion and with Google Calendar. Not all digital planning should be automated and complicated. You could keep things more simple and create a more kind of manual analog version in a digital form. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be showing you how to make this very thing in Notion in a coming video. Number three, setting goals and tracking habits in the same view. Good planners will have yearly review and goal sections that can help you focus your time over months and the year. I also suggest reviewing this each week and setting weekly goals that you can glance at as you go. This paper planner is great for that. In my Notion system, I have a prompted review template that um, helps me review the year and then set goals that can be linked to my habits and projects and tasks in the rest of the system. In Notion, creating a database view of these on my homepage is a great way for me to keep track of them. So writing a list of uh, regular practices or habits based on your yearly goals is a great way to also ensure that you are focusing your energy in the right place. Maybe these are workouts, regular reading you want to do, or just like calling your mum or your friends or something. I like uh, to list these in an accessible place where they can be monitored and ticked off to hold me to account. So in a paper planner, working ahead, use the bottom of your planner to list this and track them in the same place as your calendar and to-do lists. Digitally, digital tracking can get a lot more exciting. In Notion, I do this as an action dashboard with a view of my habits next to my to-do lists for the week. Digital systems like this have the advantage of automating when a habit should appear. So like every day, every week, every three days, whatever that is, using formulas. Now another advantage of digital systems is they're always available and quickly accessible. One of my favorite tricks is actually using the accessibility feature on iPhones called Backtap. You can set the phone to be tapped twice or three times and jump to a specific Notion page. So for me, it jumps to my habit tracker and I can quickly hit the checkbox and minimize the friction of monitoring your progress. So at this stage, I wanna ask you which is truly better for you to plan your week? Paper, digital, a combination of the both? Are you thinking of switching back the other way in two directions? Let me know in the comments below. You should watch this next if you want to learn how digital journaling can transform your weekly routine for the better. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and of course, come back for another video on productivity and creative life soon. Oh, I'm so ill. I really need to go to bed.